Leo. Let's get into it. What's coming in for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to love. Okay, this is quite powerful. You've come up twice as the Queen of Wands and also through the Strength card here. So potentially two big changes, transformations coming in around you in regards to love. Now, something could be in its early stages with the Sun card here, which could be in Aries. Um, but the message here with the Sun is also childbirth, youthfulness, harmony, or the Sun illuminating something. Now... I feel you're going to discover more about yourself or potentially about your partner in the upcoming month. It could also be in connection to pregnancies and child um, raising children or talking about starting a family for some of you. That's absolutely the case. For others, I feel like you're just going to go through quite a harmonious period because you do have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, Four of Swords, my guess is in conjunction with the Knight of Swords, you might be encountered with a bit of drama or obstacles in connection with communication. It could be something that's kept hidden from you. Now, the sun illuminates a lot. So if something is being hidden or you're, you know, the person you're dealing with might be a little bit withdrawn, might not be revealing too much or you feel you're not revealing too much enough. It, it's it's almost like treading lightly because you can see the Seven of Swords treads lightly around a certain situation. He doesn't want other people to see him or notice him or discover his real intentions. And, you know, I, I wouldn't go so far as to say someone is deceitful or has the wrong intentions for you. Um, I think if it's that bad, I think you definitely would have noticed by now, Leo, you're very um, switched on. So I don't feel it's that. I think it's more to do with communication and not being outright. And you might see someone grow a little bit distant, distant with the Four of Swords. It could be you that grows a little bit distant. And I think the reason is, is because one of you want to avoid some sort of judgment, um, opinions, wrath, anger, jealousy, explosions. You know, uh, one of you want to avoid that. And in doing so, you're actually avoiding the issue and making it much worse. Now, of course, this won't be for all of you. But I do feel for some of you, um, that is the case here. And I think you're at a, an emotionally mature point in your connection or your relationship or your marriage to be able to confront these issues head on. But instead, I feel like you just want, you, you feel like these issues will just die down or, or pass you by. And it's, it's not likely to happen. I feel like it's something that needs to be sorted. And maybe that's what the Tower card is bringing, those shakeups in love. Um, and I think you need to take more initiative than you do, Leo. You've come up twice with the Strength card and the Queen of Wands. But the Queen of Wands um, is openness. See how the child is open in the Judgment card. We see this family quite open. And the Queen of Wands sits open. You know, so it might be that some of you might be opening yourself up to someone. Okay, quite openly, quite easily and quite quickly. Okay, swift energy with the Knight of Swords. And some of you might be putting yourself in a position to get hurt or... You know, you're going to maintain high expectations and what happens with the Tower card, something happens, some sort of drama or scandal or revelation or knowledge comes into play here and then suddenly it's a bit of a whirlwind and you put yourself in a vulnerable position here. So some of you might be doing that because there is someone here and not that they're overly deceitful, but it is someone here who is sort of beating around the bush. They're not being overly direct. Maybe they're going too fast without even thinking about what's occurring in the relationship, without even thinking about how much they can actually commit to you. And strength is required. Why is strength required? Strength is always required at a time of need, at a time of when we fall down, at a time when we're emotionally vulnerable, at a time when we're susceptible to these tower moments. And I did mention the notion of a blessing in disguise in the general reading. So maybe that's a, a message here for you, Leo. That this is a um, a blessing in disguise. That this shakeup needs to happen because it's going. To, you're going to finally understand. And it could even be like um, an issue, something that's been ongoing, like jealousy issues or trust issues or lack of commitment issues. Whatever it is, a tower card is going to bring it out, and then you'll be able to lay it to rest. 
and the lay the lay it to rest has come up in the four of swords so it's either you pass over that obstacle and you grow stronger as a couple you tame the situation the maiden tames the lion so you essentially tame that situation or someone becomes more tame maybe if they were too open a bit too you know sometimes the queen of wands is seen as promiscuity uh, she's very sexually open very liberated so someone might have been very open-minded and now you want them more to yourself or vice versa could also be sexual encounters and brief flings for some of you the tower card can be that one night stands or seven of swords you know you know that someone just wants to have a bit of fun they don't want to commit yet you're open to it anyway leo so regardless if you're a woman or a man watching this there could be people coming in around you who are just attracted physically they might not have much substance to them or you might not connect beyond the physical but I think some of you are still hoping that you can tame, like completely con like change this person overnight. It's not going to happen. Whilst it can, I just want you to not rush into anything. Really pace yourself. Um, let's move on to your career, um, business, finance, and see what's coming up. So maybe we might have a Taurus coming in twice, Libra, Scorpio, a lot of signs here. Um, Leo has come up with the two of cups here as well so that's quite powerful the past is coming back in for some of you um, in regards to career or work or knowing someone from your past um, looking back at past paperwork past contracts past business ideas the past is coming back in or potentially Libra Taurus Scorpio or Leo um, coming in um, and there may be a new offer that comes in from the past with the death card. Um, if it's not that, then I do feel like there's an ending taking place. Um, some of you might leave your work to, to for a new opportunity. The hand of God is here, the universe, your spirit guides, your angels that are essentially offering you a new position, something that's more emotionally rewarding or tied into your interests or your passions. So that's quite interesting. Some of you also have a business partnership. There's the Two of Cups. Now, this could be an important interview. I think you might ace it, but there might be up to two to three people interviewing you. So be prepared for very different personalities and a very different line of questions and, and things like that. But important meetings or collaborations, even investments. Because the Libran sign has come up with the Justice card, this can rule contracts and paperwork. So this is contracts, deals, um, deeds coming to you. But I feel also that it's also a partnership, okay, a binding agreement of some kind. Um, could be a renewal of an old contract, okay, you might renew a business idea with the previous person, you might employ someone that used to work for you, they might employ you, uh, so you might share some sort of link, but there is contracts and documents and a binding agreement coming in from two parties. There could even be multiple investment um, people, you know, there's three people here, three signs here, so well four if you count you so there could be a tripartite okay a triangle here um or a third party that's coming in to invest or attach themselves to your company or maybe to the company you're working for um, but suddenly that changes things but there is potential for an asset here uh the king of pentacles can represent a large asset or a large amount of money so maybe for example if this is a new job that's being offered to you it's going to be attached to quite a bit of money or it's being offered by someone very well connected uh, or very very affluent i do see for the most part uh, some of you networking with a lot of different people maybe that work in law maybe with the states and finances um you know that it's a lot of different industries are coming together for some reason here leo maybe you're a recruiter and you've suddenly been overwhelmed with a lot of different industries or you might be researching new work or you might be having a lot of discussions with the people around you but it's something about it's very different industries coming together or very different ideas or concepts or strategies coming together to create something new but justice and judgment there's there's um reviews reviews coming up critics um have something to say it's exclusive though people will have access to this information somehow could be posted online um, it could be like business insider you might be asked to do a report the business you work for might end up in some sort of it might be in the spotlight might be in the news for some reason um, might be talk of the town for some reason as well so that could also be coming up but definitely contracts um, 
and the releasing of something, releasing paperwork, releasing a statement, you know, um, yes, it points more so uh, to emotional release, but the dove is seen as a message of hope, but it's also a messenger. So there is a message here of release or message of like the floodgates are open, giving the green light to something or paperwork will be released to the general public. Um, your business documents, you know, your registra registrations or anything like that could also be released uh, in some way here. and Or it might be a water sign that's helping represent you and helping to release something of yours. Creative work, professional work, business ideas, contracts. Um, something that's going to be made, made public, I feel. Um, but now I will leave it at that, Leo. So thank you so much for tuning in.